Hello, welcome back to Pink Word Tarot. My name is Z. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. So this, these are the oracle messages. I'm just reading these intuitively. No tarot cards. At the end of the reading, I will pull additional oracle messages from a separate um, deck. So let's jump in. Let's see what's going on here with Sagittarius. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Uh -oh. What messages you have for Sagittarius? Okay, so free will wanted to pop out. I just did um, Pisces. This card came out first too, but this card, this card has been coming up a lot here too um, with this free will. But let's see what's going on here. What messages you have for Sagittarius? Uh oh. What messages you have for Sagittarius? Okay, we got be your most authentic self. I love this card, and this card has been coming up a lot too for the signs for these oracle messages. Um, so with this free will, be your most authentic self. Um, Sagitt Sagittarius, for some of you guys, um, it's like saying that hey, you have the free will, um, whether you believe it or not. Um, we all have our own free will, by the way, to like be our most authentic self. Like you don't have to water down your character, your appearance, like basically overall dimming your light, basically, if you get what I'm saying. Like you don't have to do that. So let's see. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Okay, so we got divine timing that showed up here as well. So divine timing, some of you guys could definitely be like waiting for something here. Um, now, you could be waiting to, it seems like for some of y'all, you could definitely be waiting to like, um, oh, hold on y'all, because I feel like some type of communication going on here. Hold on. What message do you see for Sagittarius? What message do you see for Sagittarius? So we got you are on the right path here for some of you guys maybe you did detach and move on from a certain situation here as well so it's like hey you're on the right path let you know like if you are worried about that but overall it's saying like hey you have the free will here to like be your true self do you like and also to is be, um, be your most authentic self um it doesn't say in the meaning y'all but like for me it just means like hey you making decisions because that's what you want to do not anyone else because it's like if you sit there and, make, and let someone like project their fears or insecurities on you or also to like someone um kind of like telling you what to do like a decision that is only up to you like something that you would want to do something that makes you happy that's not you being your most authentic self like no way so let's see what messages do you have for Sagittarius Yeah, raise your vibe here. Okay, so for some of y'all, you could, and I did say it felt like communication. I'm about to tell y'all in a minute, but raise your vibe showed up here. And then we got speak your truth that showed up here too. It's something dealing with communication here, also to like patience. Some of you guys could be wanting to like possibly like speak out about something. Maybe you do want to speak your truth. Someone, someone in your energy could be wanting to speak their truth as well. Some of you guys could definitely be like waiting on communication here as well. But whatever the case is, Sagittarius, like, keep your vibes high. In the meantime, like, while you're waiting or something, that's what it seems like. And you could definitely feel like, and because you are waiting for something to come through, whether it's communication, a new job, whatever, some money, it's still, it's letting you know that, hey, you're still on the right path, even if you're not really where you want to be at. Continue to, like, you know, be your most authentic self. What message do you have for Sagittarius? Give me one more. Give me one more here for Sagittarius. Y'all, I don't have my nails on it and it's like, I can't function. 
Give me one more here for Sagittarius. Okay, so we got compassion and unconditional love here. Release any type of like fear, self doubt, um, or like some something that could be keeping your vibes low. I don't know exactly what it could be for someone, but it's like you're needing to release that. Focus more so like on love here, because love is like a high vibrational, right? But um, with the cards that's like surrounding it, and then the cards that I was seeing. At the bottom of the deck for y'all, it's just like, you could definitely be like tired of waiting for something here as well. That's what it seems like. And some of you guys could definitely be uh, waiting for a new love as well. But it looks like someone could be needing to like detach and move on from something first in order for that to come in. That's what it seems like. What additional messages do you have for Sagittarius? What additional messages do you have for Sagittarius? Okay, what's this? Calming the waters. Wow, peaceful self-regulation. So yeah, for some of y'all, you could definitely need to go by water here as well. There's some type of, um, see some of y'all could have definitely set some type of intention or it's like maybe you have some type of achievement coming in. But it looks like someone could be waiting for some type of news or like communication. But it has something to do with some type of, it's something that you put effort into basically. That's what it seems like. But this card calming water showed up here. So there's going to be a peaceful, I want to say like a peaceful resolution here to this um, the situation. But I do feel like um, temperance energy with this card, which is crazy. Um... Because the deck that I'm using, I usually don't use it that often. But, like, because I don't even know, like, all the cards in here, honestly. But, like, I feel temperance energy with this. So, yeah, for some of y'all, and it's, like, temperance is Sagittarius energy. So, for some of y'all, you could definitely need to, like, be patient here in a situation. What message do you have for Sagittarius? y'all be been coming up for um what reading i do first gemini pisces and then y'all so divine feminine here magnetic receptive power here it's like you're going to be like on the receiving end here too that's what it seems like give me another card here for sagittarius but some of you guys could definitely need to like tap into your um your feminine energy here. Um or like balance out your masculine and feminine energies here as well. Especially with this card coming out with calming the waters. And then we got um un what is it? Compassionate unconditional love here as well. Give me another one here for um Sagittarius. Okay, what's this? Okay, sacred action here. Decisive focus. Some of you guys could be wanting to take action here on something here. Or it's like maybe you are... It's almost like you waiting for something to happen. That's what it seems like for someone. But also, too, if you are wanting to speak... Um, speak your truth here about a certain situation. But for some of you guys, I feel like somebody, is, somebody wants to speak their truth here to you. Or it's like you could be wanting to speak your truth to someone else. It's like communication involved in the situation. Give me another one here for Sagittarius. Give me another one here for Sagittarius. another message here for Sagittarius so we can close out this reading. Okay, 
Okay, what's this? Touching earth. Yeah, planting something new. So it's, it seems like for some of y'all, you could definitely be wanting to, and I feel um, the Ace of Pentacles with this. So for some of you guys, it's like, hey, you're on the right path here. Just um, trust, have faith here in divine timing that something new here, like you're going to be planting something new or it's like whatever you planted, Sagittarius, like it's going to grow here too. So for some of you guys, you could, you could definitely be need to take action here um, or focus more so like on planting something new here with this showing up. That's what it seems like. But I feel like for some people, it's like you could be waiting for something too. And maybe you feel like you didn't do what you needed to do or something. Or maybe you feel like something didn't fall through. But like, or you could be thinking like it's something that you did as to why it's taking so long. That's what it feels like. But it's saying like, no, like keep doing whatever you're doing. So let me get another one here. Give me another one here for Sagittarius. One more. Okay, so two came out here. Okay, so I see why this wanted to pop out. Some of you guys could have lost something or maybe feel like you're lacking something here as well. But it does show where it's like, hey, whatever you lost or whatever you're lacking is coming in in divine timing. It's definitely something new. And it does like some changes are going to be happening here too. Um... This is card number five, but we got clarity. It says planning, releasing illusion. So yeah, for some of you guys, it's not really whatever you think it is or something, whatever the case is, um, you could be definitely need to like release any type of like, um, doubt surrounding this. But it looks like for some of you guys, um, when it's like when communication comes in here or whatever this is, that comes in, it's going to bring in a lot of clarity. Right now, it does seem like for some of y'all, you could be like planting, plotting, plant, like planting new things, planting those seeds. That's what it seems like. And they're going to grow here or come in in divine timing. So, yeah, that's what it seems like for someone. Um, I'm going to leave it here. I hope that it resonates with you guys. Of course, you can leave it. Leave a comment below. Give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or insightful. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe.